Where's my charger? Mobile phones are playing an increasingly important role in our everyday lives, in the way that we work, travel, socialise and communicate. Across Europe today, it's estimated that more than 185 million mobile phones are sold each year. A staggering 30 million new phones are purchased annually in the UK alone, the majority of which are being sold to replace existing handsets. In the past, there has been a charger in your box when you bought a new phone. You may have noticed that recently, these chargers have been the same as the ones that came with your last phone, or the same as the ones that you have in your drawer at home. As you know, at O2, we are committed to reducing our environmental impact. And this is why we have decided to sell phones without chargers. In this short film, I'm going to tell you some of the very good reasons why we are doing this. Evidence shows that there are more than 100 million unused chargers lying around UK homes and offices. That's a lot of cluttered drawers. And the combined weight of these chargers is about the same as 1,000 double-decker buses. Now that we have universal standardised chargers on the market, this could soon be a thing of the past, improving our environment and making our lives easier. So before we look at the benefits of having one common charger for all types of handsets, let's consider what it takes to make one of these. Most people buying a new phone don't think about the charger. Quite rightly, they focus on the shiny new phone that they've just bought. However, chargers are actually made from quite a lot of high-tech stuff including integrated circuits, capacitors and other electrical components such as diodes and resistors. And the things that you can see, like the cable, which is made from copper and plastic, the plastic case of the charger and the metal which is used for the pins. If we were to combine the wire length of all the unused chargers lining people's drawers, there'd be enough wire to go around the A2 arena 200,000 times. These materials can include harmful elements such as lead and arsenic and if charges are not recycled or disposed of correctly, they can cause significant damage to the environment. If we are acquiring new charges every time we change our mobile phones, think about the duplication we are creating in the amount of resources required and the electrical waste which is generated. As we've said, charges will not be provided automatically with every new handset, as it's likely that you'll have one at home already. This is an example of a standard charger with a micro USB port which is compatible with most mobiles sold today. Alternatively, you may have a charger that looks like this. The only difference is that the cable is detachable and this plugs into the power adapter. Either of these will work within your new phone that you've just bought, so you really don't need a new charger. If we all use these common chargers together, we can really make a difference by improving our impacts on the environment and making our lives easier. It just makes sense.